Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be cover th covering three different topics. The first one being where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar for today, or Madame Nazar's location. The next thing that we're going to talk about is the collection sets and their cycles, and actually what times they do change. I've had a ton of people telling me after they switch over that they're not the correct cycle anymore and that's because there's actually a gap between when they actually happen and when they change over before this video actually comes out and then the last thing that we're going to go over is all of the daily challenges and we're going to go over those in extensive detail so that you guys can earn as much gold as possible here in red dead online now anyway let's go and show you guys exactly where you can go ahead and find madame nazar for today and she's located up in big valley He's located just off the Little Creek River, just a little bit south of the Hanging Dog Ranch, which is a, bo a bootlegger mission and also a gang hideout from time to time. So just make your way up here, and the fastest travel location, the quickest one, will be in Strawberry for today. But if this is the only thing that you guys came here for today, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. A thumbs up does mean a lot because it tells me that you guys are enjoying these types of videos. It tells me that you guys want me to continue these types of videos. And honestly, it could help out somebody else because it could get recommended to somebody that needed it just like you did. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. But before we actually do that, let's talk a little bit about live streaming. I do live stream every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I would love to see you guys there. Those times are posted on my website, which is GamerCorey.com. I also have memberships now, and that will allow you guys to get access to member-only streams and participate in that and get a little additional added benefits from time to time. So definitely make sure you guys are checking that out. But live streaming is done every monday wednesdays and fridays other days as noted and the best way to get notified with those days are to be subscribed with the channel and with all bell notifications turned on as well all right so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the different uh, collection sets and their cycles now personally the coins and the lost jewelry do make you guys the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time but right now we have the american wildflowers which you guys can collect three of those sets they are a 50 percent bonus now i have had a few people actually telling me that they haven't got the bonus i did sell one set i did get the bonus so i i don't i really don't know what to tell you guys about that um so i do apologize unfortunately you're just gonna have to take it up with rockstar and not me but um i hope that you guys get it resolved as best as possible the coins and lost jewelry are the best two sets in my opinion you do require the field shuffle and also the metal detector so if you don't have those then we'll go ahead and get into different collector sets that are available for you guys for that. Uh, like I'm right here. I'm right next to a flower. I can I can hear it. Yeah, it's right there. Um, so let's go ahead and grab this guy while we're talking about him. Coins are going to be a part of cycle number five for today. And then we have the Lost Jewelry, which is going to be a part of cycle number two for today. Like I said, both of those require a chance of using a wall. The coins for really dear are going to try to knock me over. I see how you are. I'm trying to pick a flower. Gosh sakes here. Come on now, dear. Leave me be. Leave me be. Anyway, um, as I was saying, they do require you guys to have the field shovel and also the metal detector. Now, the wildflowers don't require any of those, but you can get uh, up to three collector sets each and every single day, which that's going to be a part of cycle number four for today. Tarot cards, antique alcohol bottles, and bird eggs are also in that set. Uh, tarot cards and alcohol, antique alcohol bottles are going to be a part of cycle four as well. And then bird eggs are going to be a part of cycle number six. Now, if you guys are a low level, don't have enough money, or not even a collector at all, you can collect the, those uh, American Wildflowers tarot cards, American uh, bottles, antique alcohol bottles, and the bird eggs. Uh, no problem. Just not going to be able to sell them until you become an actual collector. You can get the collector bag completely for free right now if you guys have Amazon Prime, and I've linked it to Twitch Prime, and I've also linked it to Rockstar Social Club account. So there's a couple different steps that are involved with that, but you will get the collector bag completely for free by doing that. The last two sets are going to be Arrowheads, which is going to be a part of cycle number five, and the Family Heirlooms, which is going to be a part of cycle number three for today. Now, do just keep in mind that these... Um, different collection sets do change over six hours prior to the daily challenge video so if you guys are doing this after 8 p.m uh eastern standard time then you guys will not have the exact same cycles that i'm mentioning here and you're gonna have to wait until the video goes out to know it otherwise you guys can just do other research online and be able to figure out where they're actually at um 
So for the people that aren't very happy with me about that, I guess that's the reason why. Uh, I don't know why Rockstar can't figure out to put everything together. Again, take it up with them. But I do let you guys know from this time until 8 p.m. Central or Eastern Standard Time that you guys will be able to collect those sets. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, and that's going to be talking about the daily challenges for the day. Now, the daily challenges, in my honest opinion, are the best way of earning gold here in Red Dead Online. You can earn up to 11 gold bars every single day. There are two requirements that are needed. Number one, you do have to have um, 21 days of completing at least one daily challenge per day. And number two, you're going to have to have all of the different roles with B and being at least a rank 10 in each of those roles. And then you're going to get access to all 19 daily challenges that are available each and every single day. They might be more once a new role comes out or whatever Rockstar decides to do. This could all change at whatever time in the future. But that's it, what it is as of right now. 11 gold bars. You can earn 5 gold bars from the daily general challenges, which everybody has access to these. These are going to be the same for everybody regardless of your current rank. And uh, the daily role challenges will be slightly different, and that is rank dependent. So I'm a rank 20, so if they are different for you, that is the reason why. So there's always one daily challenge that's super easy to go ahead and complete. And let's go ahead and find what they are. I haven't looked at these today until I just logged in right now. Uh, so let's go over what the lists are before we actually go further. Uh, we have Belt Buckle Updated, English Mace, Owls Plucked, Pet a Dog, uh, Three Player Headshots in Posse Versus, Three Player Chickens, One Story m Completed, uh, Roll Challenges for me at rank 20, Crafted a Toxic Moonshine, Two of those, 200 Money Made from Moonshine, Two Moonshine Sold to Preferred Buyer, 15,838 distance delivered by tra uh, by a wagon while on a mission. Six perfect carcasses donated to Crips. One resupply mission completed with five minutes remaining. Three collectibles found with a shovel. Three collector maps used. Three family heirlooms found. Three bounty targets lasted from horseback. Three bounty targets looted. And three eagle eye used to track a bounty target. Actually, just looking at that list, a lot of these seem really easy for today. So hopefully you guys will have no problem uh, with these at all. So let's go ahead and break these down. Belt buckle, super simple. Go to any one of the general stores. You guys can go to the wardrobe that they have there and then just ch change it to whatever belt buckle that you guys have. If you're a brand new player, uh, it doesn't take long to get a couple belt buckles, so just do that. Um, I don't know which one is obviously the easiest one off the top of my head. I don't know. I have so many of them, but I've been playing for a long time. I, if I remember right, they didn't take me very long to get at least a couple of them, like at all. So yeah, that's how you're gonna update it. You can you can go to Valentine, you can go to Rhodes, you can go to Strawberry has one, you can go to Armadillo, you can go to uh I'm trying to think of where else would actually have one. Sandini obviously has one, and Tumbleweed. So there's not one in Ansberg or Van Horn. If I remember right. Uh English Mace is gonna be found way out west. Really close to uh, Fort Mercer. Uh, you can actually find them just outside of Fort Mercer in this general area right here. Uh, I don't know the exact locations because I go a little bit further down to Plainview. Um, there's actually like a grouping of them right here. There's like three different locations. These are got, these are rough estimates, but they're a grouping like that. You can also find some along this side of the road over here. And you can also find a couple along the other side of the road. There's like 10 different locations down here, and I know there's quite a few right behind Fort Mercer, but the exact locations I can't let you guys know of because I can't quite remember exactly where they're at. I just know they're just a little bit behind Fort Mercer in this general area right in here. So either spot would work. I typically go to Plainview. I know it's a little bit further away than the, everything else, but it's really not that far, farther, much further away from Fort Mercer than and you already have to go to get to Fort Mercer is what I'm trying to say. All right, so the next one on the list that's going to be fairly easy is Owls Plucked. Uh, actually, Pet a Dog is really, really easy. As long as you have a camp dog, go there. If you guys have a friend that has a camp, be a part of their posse. Pet that same dog. You're going to get uh, just fine. Otherwise, you guys can just go around. There's There are dogs that are um, roaming throughout the world. You can find some uh, right outside of Emerald Ranch area right next to the fence which is right here i know for sure that there's usually a dog in that area um i'm trying to think if there is another area that i can just recall of off the top of my head and i'm not th 
Oh, you know what? There is actually a dog from time to time down in Thieves Landing as well. Those are the two locations that I can think of that you guys can go and find a pet, find a dog to pet if you guys don't have a camp or have a friend that can you can join their posse. Alice Plucked is not too bad. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a couple different locations real quick on the map. Number one, anywhere basically in Blue Water Marsh. If you go specifically to this little hut right here in the evening hours, so overnight hours, and just kind of like run around this entire area, there will be one that will be spawning somewhere in this area. The last time that we had this, I literally just stayed. I, was, I stood right here for probably like two minutes and then I was just looking in the sky and then I turned around and there was like one right above this area. Typically I just go right to where this little hut is at and I just kind of wait. Um, it doesn't usually take long, long for one to spawn, but I have seen them as far north as about here in the Blue Water Marsh area. Um, and I have seen them as far south as close to Saint Denis as possible. So, but I like to go to that little hut. The other place that you guys can go to is basically just north of uh, Tumbleweed. Technically, it's still uh, Gap Tooth Ridge area, but it's right at this intersection right here. You guys can usually find some and going all the way over towards the train tracks right here, which is kind of the divide of Gap Tooth Ridge from uh, Chaza Springs. So in that general area, you can usually find some flying around in the evening hours overnight. All right, so let's take a look at what else we got here. Uh, three prayer chickens. And then one story mission. Story mission, you can either go and talk to, as long as they got the little yellow area, you can go and talk to whoever you're going to be talking to next for a mission. Go and talk to them. Or you can replay a mission by actually just going to your progress and starting any one. Um, it would be fine. And then you can actually just go ahead and start any old mission. It doesn't matter which one it is. If you, you guys can do a random one, and then it'll just send you into one by basically going down to quick join and then story on call, it will put you into a random one if you guys really don't care. Um, prayer chickens, there's two spots I'm going to recommend for this. Number one, uh, right out Emerald Station area. You can find them flying around this area during the day, or you can go um, a little bit west of Blackwater in the Great Plains area, in this general area, and you can find them flying over here during the day as well. Um, to be completely honest, I seem to find a lot more prairie chickens when I don't have the daily challenge compared to when I do. But that's the two spots that I always find them in when I do find them. And then I think the last but not least is going to be uh, the posse one. So it's uh, posse headshots, uh, posse versus mode. So basically you're going to do posse infighting when you're in your own posse, but you're going to have to, have to do this with somebody else. And then just take turns getting headshot, headshots on each other, and that's how you're going to get that one. So not too bad. So let's go ahead and move on to the daily rule challenges, which we've already covered all these. But Toxic Crafted Moonshine, I don't recommend getting the pamphlet unless you have enough money to actually do that. And you purchase everything that you want, including stuff from the rules and whatnot. Because the only time that you're ever going to be crafting this Toxic Moonshine is for a daily challenge. So I would save your money and use it on something else, unless you have the money to spare. You have to make $200 money made, so I would go with the, the ones that make you the most amount of money. You're looking at the special ones, Argarita, Creek Plum, Caribbean Rum, and Strong Moonshine. And then make sure that you guys sell them to preferred buyers. You could add the flavoring later once you get once the uh, people switch and you can guarantee that you have a preferred. Otherwise, that's the best way to do that, but it's going to take two batches of Moonshine to sell that. We have to travel that distance of 15,830 by delivery wagon. The best way to do this is to do two distant deliveries, but that's going to take anywhere from 20 minutes to a half an hour to complete. Just to get a half gold bar is not worth it in my honest opinion. Six perfect carcasses donated grips. Looking for anything that's a three-star quality, that's the best way to do that. You know, if it's a small or medium animal, use your varmint rifle. If it's anything bigger, uh, like a large animal carcass, I guess that's the only thing bigger, then use your bolt-action rifle or like a Springfield rifle on those and you should be able to, as long as you get a clean shot, like a headshot on it, then you should maintain the quality of that carcass. You have one resupply mission completed as fast as possible with five minutes remaining. So that's that. We have the trader or the collector roll. Three collectibles found with a shovel. You got uh, coins, arrowheads. Some of the family heirlooms can be as well. So just kind of focus on whatever you guys want. The family heirlooms are going to be a part of cycle number three for today. And then you just have to use collector maps. So you could use family heirlooms for the collector map. And then you're going to be able to get that one, which is actually what I've done. It's already set up and ready to go for me. Uh, so there's that. Uh, we have three bounty targets lassoed from horseback. 
try to use the reinforced lasso as possible. If you guys are a bunny hunter, you should have the reinforced lasso anyway. After you lasso them from horseback, make sure that you're looting them so that you get these two completed at the exact same time. And then last but not least is to use eagle eye to track a bounty target. Best way to do this is when you guys get uh, told to search within like this yellow area. Typically, it does take three spots to or three times to basically track them. And just make sure that each time that you inspect an item that you track them right after that. And that will get it all done within one bounty hunting session. Otherwise, what you could do is you could lasso them. Or before you lasso them, let them run away and then track them. And then that will count towards the tracking of or using the eagle eye to track a bounty target. But that is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of them, by all means, leave a comment down below so that I can do my best to help you guys out. Don't forget that I do live stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Times are posted on my website, which is GamerCorey.com. And I do live stream at other times, which will be notified if you guys are subscribed with all bell notifications turned on. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.